All right, all right. Yes, disc break. So in order to put a disc brake on a rally, we using a PK fork, which is lower than a PX fork, uh, and you must run, uh, of course, a PK shock. However, the hub is a Grimaca PX kit. Um, you ultimately can just swap it over onto a PK fork as well. When we put our disc on, there's a little arrow that points towards the direction of rotation. Um, I found out if you point that towards the hub, it all works out. After that, we get to assembling the fork. So we put some washes, some more rings, and then the uh, lubed up brake mount on. Both the dismount and the hub were um, powder coated, as we want to go for the whole like all black look. In order to avoid a slight um, wobble on your disc. Uh, you gotta make sure that there's a, the, the right spacer on as well as the circlips is in place. You gotta push that down hard. It's a little bit harder than it looks on here. But then we're ready to put our hub on. I loop everything up, the inner bearing as well as the outside which it takes on uh, the speedo drive and then I can just slide it on and torque it down to spec. After that we're ready to mount our brake caliper and get ready to mount the shock. We're using the a simple BGM shock here. However, it does not fit perfectly, so you gotta um, enlarge the bottom hole so it can stand at a slight angle. In order to put fender on, I had to drill two more holes. If this would have been done before paint, I would have closed up the old holes. This process is the most fiddly one, as you need to space out the fender with some washes underneath and get your balls uh, the right length. And in order to keep it closer to the fork, I made this little bracket um, that I can attach the fender to. Now that our fork is ready, um, we'll put just our steering column bearings on the top, as well as the one on the bottom. Um, this process here looks very simple, but I had to take the fork on and off or over and over again to see how it looks fender to body and uh, potentially reshape uh, the fender again. Once the fork is in, uh, we're just going to tighten it down and torque it to spec and we're all good. As we're using a simple motorcycle brake line, I enlarged the cable canals on top which goes through the horn cast and drilled a hole in the fender where it goes through and comes down at the bottom. The idea is as to do it on my like it is on my P200 which is coming from the back of the fender. So all that's left to do now is uh, attach our brake line and I had to twirl the brake line. The easiest way was to do it from the top next to the headset. Um, so it would already be kind of in shape that I can attach it with a, a small bracket to the fender. But basically this is where the fork assembly is done. In order to go fully hydraulic on this rally we're using a Piaggio Typhoon master cylinder um, that was sent to me by Mikael from Quebec, shout out here, thank you for hooking us up. And a mounting kit that was made by a user of the German scooter forum that uses the original lever to push onto the master cylinder and thus uh, brake. After multiple tries and fishing out um, washes over and over again, I put some uh, paper down there into the headset as it made life a lot easier. The bracket is attached to the headset uh, with one bolt first. I think so, because that's, that's how I figured out it worked the best. And then I could attach the master cylinder as I needed to reach from top to bottom. So I can bolt it on. And then with a bunch of washers to space out the front, as well as the attachment for the um, brake fluid reservoir, uh, I could torque this down as well and make sure it stays in place when the brake is pulled. A 
as this is a crucial part of course I was using Loctite uh, on all the bolts used in this uh, process. The nice part about this whole assembly is that it almost hides underneath your uh, handlebar and it doesn't really stick out as a big master cylinder mounted uh, in the front. So lastly I had to drill the lever, attach the eye uh, with a bolt, cut the bolt off so it doesn't just stick out and made sure that the distance between the lever and the master cylinder is correct. Because if it is not correct it doesn't open or close properly which made bleeding really complicated. With a set of helping hands and figuring finally out how this uh, master cylinder opens and closes properly, all that was left was to bleed the brakes and with that the disc brake conversion on the rally is done. In order to complete the look this will get a set of blacked out Pinasco rims with some decent tightened out tires so this rally just sticks to the road. With that this conversion is done and I'll see you next week when we're getting ready to not only put the rear suspension in but also hook the engine up and get it out for a ride. See you then.